Hi folks, welcome back to another video. This is Gig Apps Exposed here on YouTube. And I'm just going to just jump right into the uh, subject. Uh, but if you are a delivery driver, rideshare driver, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you won't miss any more videos. And always come back to see if I posted because you may not get the notifications. So with that said, I wanted to talk about... Um, I wanted to talk about base pay and mandatory tips. And uh, I, I speak about this from time to time because it's important, folks. Um, now, obviously, the companies and corporations of these gig app companies that we're using to make money are all in collusion together with us to make sure that we don't make the money that we need to make and the money that we want to make. Because all of the profits are being uh, siphoned to the top and the bottom feeders and the crumbs are coming down to us. So the thing is, is um, with legislation and laws that we need to force the uh, politicians to, uh, to pass at some capacity, uh, one of them being that to bring a uh, mandatory... 80% mandatory 80% at least 80% minimum I, I say 90 because they, they, they got to make the company's got to make a little bit of money right they're already making it off the merchants but they're making it they're, they're making a killing folks I mean billions of dollars and they're lying to everyone saying that they're only making certain amounts they're not they're not publishing all the money they make but the point of it is we got to bring back that 80 percent of the trip, uh, you know, the the delivery charge for deliveries, and eighty percent of the ride share money uh, that the customer is charged got to go to the driver, not not the company. Uh, the company is making too much money. They they are they're gluttons, they're greedy, and they don't care about the drivers. So that's number one. Number two, we need a 20% mandatory tip. Now, now a compromise to that would be 15%, but you can't go lower than 15. We're in 2023. Prices are rising exponentially with all of these different corporations and companies and businesses. I mean, I, I just was in a pizza shop picking up three pizzas, right? It was a 1650 fare going seven miles. And I'm going to be in an area where I can still pick up, thank God, you know, different food. But I I was thirsty, so I wanted a drink. So I said, hey, how much of the sodas in there? You know, like a root beer or something. She's like, $3, right? And I'm like, oh, okay. How much of the waters? Oh, $1.99 plus tax. So I knew where she was going with it because a lot of these uh, businesses, I didn't have any cash on me. And a lot of these businesses, they get hit hard with the fees, you know, for the... Um, what do you call the, the the cards we use, right? So I said, look, charge me two fifty for that, at, at, so you could take fifty cents off it, because all I had was my my card with me. You know, I didn't care, but like, I'm looking at like I remember just two years ago, so you know, uh, a sodas, you know, twenty ounce sodas were only a dollar twenty nine or a dollar, and they they've now like tripled, doubled, whatever, and that's that's just on a small scale, but like you could go into a a store and get a two liter for, for about the same or less than that, or even half of that. And if you get the generic stuff right now, I just got a water. So, you know, and I'm looking at all these prices and everything. And then I'm thinking about the gig apps, like how they don't raise the prices for us, do they? They don't give us more money. Uh, we're, we're making less money than we were making two or three years ago. Right. From people who, who started during the pandemic phase. Right. Then you have people before that that made double and triple that money. You know, there, there was good jolly times at one one time or another on these apps, right? Especially DoorDash. But now they want to be greedy and take everything. So how do we how do we accomplish that, folks? How do we we get that money to us? You have to form an alliance for drivers. Okay, you have to form, uh, you know, a a basically sort of a union i guess but it's hard to unionize you you know i think it's written in the contracts of these apps that we're as independent contractors we can't unionize i heard something about that i haven't really fully looked into it but i probably should hold on a second folks i'll be right back
Okay, I had to drop off an order that I had. Um, so, anyways, getting back to the mandatory tip, tip thing. Now, why, why, you know, a lot of people, there's a lot of people on the fence on that. A lot of people don't think they, oh, you're forcing me to give a tip. Listen, we're, they're paying for a service, right? And we need to get paid as drivers. The problem is the middleman is DoorDash. The middleman is Uber. The middleman is any of the apps that you're working on. And they hide everything from us. They hide item counts. They hide mileage. They, they add mileage to our, to our routes. They've now given us down to $1 on, double, on stacked orders. They hide customers' names. They do everything infinitum to make it so the driver can't make the money that they need and want to make. So at, at what point do the drivers actually say, this is it, I'm not taking this crap anymore? See, if you're in a market where you're not really being affected or you're, you might even be making the same money you made five years ago, who knows? But not, not all of America is. And then you have the super saturation effect, right? Where, where's the regulations? Where is all that? We need to fight, folks. We need to get out there and, and uh, become an activist get out, start picketing, start even, even striking, I would say. I mean, you know, ride share, now look, striking really doesn't do anything unless you have everyone together with you. So why, did, so now you, you, uh, you put yourself in the shoes of, uh, of thinking about the immigrants who come into the country, the immigrants to them, they make, this is great to them. They're like, wow, I'm making more money than I ever made in my life. Cause in my country, I didn't make that. But we need to we need to Americanize the immigrants and let them know that the American way is the way the American dream used to be, which is now out of reach for almost everyone, right? And so, basically, um, we need we, this needs to be an education for for a lot of people, and it takes a lot of uh, manpower and a lot of people that are willing to, to do it. But at at what point do you get upset in your own heart? And I'm talking to you as an individual right now, okay? What the hell is this guy beeping at? People, like, beep at you, and they go, oh, you, you get the high beams on, right? I have low beams on. These people are driving around with these crazy lights, that you know, the with the white blinding ones. Anyways, um, so at what point do you say, you know, that you're right, Brian. Enough is enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out there and, and do something. Now... I'll give you an example of content creators. We have a new content creator named Big Chris, 1988. Shout out to him. Please go over to his channel and sub to him. I'm going to leave the links to his channel in this video uh, because he's another gig worker who popped up and is starting to make videos about how how we're getting shafted by the gig companies. It's, it's not enough just to talk about it, but we need to take actions, folks. So, anyways, um, you know, I, I, I just wanted to see what, where you guys are at, like, in the comment section. Now, a lot of you, a lot of people deal with all of this by just simply quitting the apps and moving on and going into a W-2 job. I mean, that's one action, but that doesn't, that doesn't stop the problem. It doesn't fix the problem of what the gig apps are still doing to the people. I mean, even if I wasn't doing these gig apps anymore I would still want to fight for the drivers because I invested a lot of time and money and effort into it of my own money and got screwed just like the rest of you have you know so I don't know I just feel that uh you know what are you doing in your own state what are you doing in your own you know uh area that you live you know are you are you trying to help people are you are you, you know, informing people about what's going on, you know, maybe we need to start, I had a petition, I still have a petition that hardly anyone signed, you know, uh, maybe I should just go door to door in my own towns, I've done it before, um, maybe go outside, uh, shopping malls and, uh, places and say, hey, would you like, work? you know, better wages for, for drivers and, 
Would you like to have lower weight, lower fees for customers and stuff? And in other words, it all has to be a, a one big effort together because if we could get some of the customers on our side as far as lowering the fees so they so they're able to give us a better tip or give us something out of it or even circumventing it. I don't even want the tips going to the through the app. I would like it being circumvented to your own account like your own like Je- Jeff from Uber Jeep Arizona talked about this like using your own cash app using PayPal and putting a note inside your car saying hey listen uh, if you are I re- if you you know tips are not necessary but I mean we we I'd be happy to see it and if you if you did you know I'm very grateful you know something like that to that effect and say if you are going to tip me could you please tip me could you tip me in my cash app because uh, when it goes through the Uber app or the, you know, whatever, uh, especially for rideshare, you know, we, sometimes we're missing tips and I don't think anyone would think anything bad of it. It's just, it's a, it's just an extra step they have to do because they have to go outside the app and then that now input your information, right? So it is kind of a, <laughs> it's kind of, um, a little inconvenience, isn't it? But boy, it would help out a lot because we could take the money away that these companies are stealing from us. You know what I mean, folks? So anyways, I could go on and on and on and on about what I want to talk about, but I'm very passionate about it. I care about you guys. I care about what you make because you need to provide for you and your family and pay the bills and everything. And you deserve more in 2023 and going forward, don't you think? I mean, let me know in the comments, all right? So with that said, I guess that's the end of the, uh, that's the end of it, uh, end of the conversation and uh, the video, and I appreciate you all. And uh, with that said, um, I guess I'll see you on the next one, all right? All right, take care, folks. Take care. Have a good one.